What's up, y'all, sons of bitches? Thanks to JD Outdoors, a new subscriber of mine, I figured out how to make the throat for my catfish trap that I have had sitting in the backyard for so long. That's right, y'all. A five gallon bucket. Cut like this. You can do it different. I've tested it. I think this is going to work. This is what I'm going to use. Um, JD Outdoors did his a little different. Uh, his looks nicer. But as you can see, that's a good size net. Or a good size trap. You know, that, that's my foot. I can catch, you know, two, three, four, five eaters in there. One big old boy in there. We're going to go down to a little spot that I know about personally. And I know that there's bullheads in there. And my main thing is to try to get some catfish in this trap overnight. So, me and the girls are going to ride down to the red breast hole and drop this trap. Looks like we might be getting some rain. We're going to try to do a little fishing, but don't know if we can now. Yeah, man, we, we got to hurry up and get there. All right, that's going to be coming down by the time we get over there. I, I just saw you digging in your nose. No. No. All right, here we are. This is a uh, the little spot um, on the other side, back in there. When the water was real low, I could walk all the way back. I don't know if you guys can see those tiles back there, and uh, if you remember the episode. Anyway. I know that there's bullhead catfish in here, so I think what we're going to do is, uh, I think I'm just going to put my trap right here. I don't need to make it too hard or anything, you know? Uh, it's about to start raining too, and that way it'll be easy for me to check it. As long as it's deep enough, I'm going to throw it right out there in the middle. That worked pretty good. I got my little stick here with my string on it. I'm gonna poke this in the ground. All right, y'all. Tomorrow, or tonight, it depends on how the weather's acting. If it's coming down, I won't be doing anything. But uh, if it's all right, I'm gonna come and check it again tonight. And uh, if I don't check it tonight, we will be checking it tomorrow. And hopefully, we have some fish in there. I know there's a lot of brim. I know there's some bass, but they won't be coming in there for what we put in. Put a dead brim and a uh, piece of old onion. I heard that uh, catfish might be attracted to that. So we put a dead brim in there that smells really good and a piece of onion just for the hell of it. We gonna see if we get us some fish. All right, y'all. I will post another video tomorrow of what we catch.